Menus so are basically everywhere from operating systems to apps to websites. They look simple being a list of buttons, but there's a shockingly large amount of complexity for the logic. Here, I just quickly coded up an example with two buttons on the top, and below that three items, each of which opens a submenu filled with more options. This looks fine and all, and everything feels snappy, but as you move your mouse around a bit more, you realize that sometimes it's quite frustrating when the submenu suddenly changes and disappears on you because you moved your mouse a pixel off to the side. Let's look at option 1. Just add a bit of delay to everything, say around half a second. Now it gives you some time to move your mouse to where it needs to be before it closes on you. Of course, this feels pretty sluggish, but given that most people only need to open a menu to get one thing and isn't jumping around all the time, this isn't a terrible idea. Then of course you can further tune the amount of delay there is. I found that 0.15 seconds isn't annoying, but still offers a huge amount of convenience. If you want to get the absolute best user experience, however, there's still one more trick you can do. Here is a Figma file menu. As your cursor moves up and down, the submenus appear instantly. But look, you can still move your mouse to the submenus without trouble. The trick is a triangle. Whenever you are on the menu, two lines can be drawn from your cursor to the corners of the submenu, forming a triangle. Inside this triangle is a safe zone. You can move your cursor here without the menu disappearing. If it's outside, it will select the next item. Okay, that was just a quick thing I wanted to share with you. It really shows how much effort people put into designing things that won't ever be noticed if it's done well, but will be noticed if it's done badly. And this is only a small part of what goes into a menu. The stuff I haven't talked at all about yet, like avoiding the edges of a screen, for example. Coding all of this is quite complicated and differs depending on what you're making, but here is my advice. Stick to the native solutions for the operating system if possible. Even if you think you could make a better implementation, consistency will be more convenient. And if there's no native option available, like for example on the web, I would recommend you use the library as that saves a lot more time It's probably better featured with accessibility and everything else. As always, if you like my short videos like this, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you sometime.